one and all welcome back to my youtube channel this is day three of five days of fellowship with the holy spirit in yesterday's teaching day two we touched on the spiritual war for your weapons but today i will be introducing you to the blood of jesus as a nuclear weapon hallelujah many across the world including Christians, have no clue about the power embedded in the blood of Jesus. It is not just something that we frivolously call upon at any time. The blood of Jesus is no different than nuclear weapons that are deployed in a physical war against nations. What is a nuclear weapon? You might be asking yourself. A nuclear weapon is described as a bomb or missile that uses nuclear energy to cause an explosion. Nuclear weapons are considered to be the most dangerous weapons designed so far in the world. Only one single bomb can destroy entire cities and leave a large amount of radioactivity in the area for decades. So you can see that it is not every day that nations pull out and carelessly launch their most dangerous weapons. Their most dangerous weapons are reserved for the real stubborn nations who refuse to surrender. Now there are great similarities between the blood of Jesus as a nuclear weapon and early nuclear weapons. I will mention three of them for this video. One, they are both weapons of mass destruction. They can cause great devastation, destruction, and deaths. Two, they are both intercontinental ballistic weapons, meaning they can wipe out enemies in another nation or continent of the world from a different launch continent. For example, a country in the continent of North America could launch a nuclear weapon to target another country far away in the continent of Asia. Similarly, a child of God in one continent of the world, say Europe, can launch the nuclear missile of the blood of Jesus against a dark power in another continent, say Australia, and they get a direct hit. With the nuclear weapon of the blood of Jesus, there is no distance in the realm of the spirit. There is no hiding place in heaven or on earth for these devils. If they are hidden in the waters, the blood of Jesus Christ can locate them. If they are hidden under the earth, the blood of Jesus will penetrate and strike them. Wherever they are located, there is no hiding place for them in the world in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Because the nuclear weapon of the blood of Jesus Christ is an intercontinental ballistic missile. My God, my God, what a powerful weapon we Christians have at our convenience. Are you using the nuclear weapon of the blood of Jesus? Hallelujah, somebody. Number three, they are both expensive to acquire. Countries who have nuclear weapons. They invested millions, maybe even billions of US dollars to have those weapons designed and built. Similarly, the blood of Jesus is very precious and costly because Jesus Christ of Nazareth paid a hefty price for us as a sacrifice on Calvary's cross so we can have easy access to the weapon called the blood of Jesus. Christians have the most powerful spiritual weapon at their convenience but many don't know how and when to use it the blood of jesus is the greatest weapon that can be used against the devil and his cohorts of demons in the kingdom of darkness no power of darkness can resist the blood no spell and enchantment can resist the blood no witches wizards or black magic can resist the blood the power in the blood of jesus carries explosive nuclear power that no dark entity is able to withstand it the blood of jesus covers all and protects and defends you from all satanic attacks in jesus name no matter how much resistance they try to put up or how, or how hard they try to fight they are already defeated by the power in the blood of Jesus because there is victory in the blood of Jesus. 
Hebrews 2 verse 14 says, For as much then as the children are partakers of flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the same, that through death he might destroy him that had the power of death, that is the devil. So the scripture clear, clearly states that Jesus' death destroyed the devil that had the power of death. My God, my God, say thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your blood. For 1 Corinthians 15 verse 55 says, O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? This scripture also tells us that God defeated death and the grave and rendered them powerless. Revelation 1 verse 18 says, I am he that liveth and was dead, and behold, I am alive forever, amen, and have the keys of hell and death. So God is telling us here that he already has in his possession the victory keys over death and hell. Come on, wave your hands in the ear with me now and say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your blood. Thank you for the power in your blood. Hallelujah, somebody. We're not going to talk about the power in the blood of Jesus. The songwriter writes, there is power, power, wonder-working power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. When using the blood of Jesus as a nuclear weapon, you must believe in the power of the blood of Jesus. You have to believe that the blood of Jesus was shed on Calvary's cross over 2,000 years ago and it still has its power. When deploying the blood of Jesus as a nuclear weapon, you have to be confident that your enemies are already defeated because God has already defeated them. There is so much power in the blood of Jesus that demons, witches, and wizards can't withstand it. Evil principalities and powers have to bow when the blood of Jesus is launched. People of God, you are not fighting for victory, but you are fighting from victory to victory. You see, Christ has already paid the ultimate price for us, so Satan no longer has any power over us. Thank you, Jesus. I encourage you today to start activating the blood of Jesus Christ and start using it as a nuclear weapon to wipe out all your stubborn enemies. Another songwriter sings, the blood prevails, the blood of the risen lamb, power to save, just like in olden days. The blood prevails, no matter what others say, thank God the blood prevails. Hallelujah, somebody. So even though the blood was shed 2,000 years ago on the cross of Calvary, it still prevails and it will continue to prevail until the end of time. So don't let anyone or any devil deceive you that there is no more power in the blood of Jesus. That is a big lie from the pit of hell. Say, devil, you are a liar. I want to share an experience with you that I had approximately 10 years ago. When I was a rookie in the things of God, this was way before I was thoroughly trained in the art and science of spiritual warfare in the Holy Ghost training school. One night in a dream, let me come a little closer, a demon came to attack me, wanting to kill me, and I started to plead the blood of Jesus Christ against that demon. I then noticed that the demon started to laugh at me, and then the demon said, that no work again. It was obvious that this demon was a Jamaican demon because he was speaking the patois while he was laughing. He said, that no work again. For my international audience in standard English, in the Queen's English, that means it doesn't work anymore people of God that was alive from the pit of hell. The devil wanted to deceive me so that I would stop pleading the blood of Jesus Christ against him so he could successfully execute his plan to kill me. The nuclear power in the blood of Jesus was hitting him very hard but he was trying to deceive me that it wasn't working. My God, my God, there is power in the blood of Jesus. So if you don't know the power in the blood of Jesus, you will 
surely believe when the enemy tells you that the blood of Jesus is powerless but I'm here to, to today to tell somebody I am here today to tell a brother or sister that it is time to start activating the blood of Jesus as a nuclear weapon against the enemies of your soul and your destiny I implore you today to continue to plead the blood of Jesus Christ over your stubborn enemies continue to plead the blood of Jesus Christ against those stubborn Goliaths and Pharaohs who refuse to let you go say by the power in the blood of Jesus loose me and let me go I say loose me by the blood of Jesus by the power in the blood of Jesus I break your bows I break your shackles I break your chains I say loose me and let me go in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth the blood of Jesus Christ is against you you stubborn Goliath you stubborn Pharaoh loose me and let me go hallelujah somebody I implore you to continue to plead the blood of Jesus Christ against your stubborn enemies in the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus can even break curses in the name of Jesus. Say, spirit of failure, your time is up. Die by the blood of Jesus. Spirit of poverty, your time is up. Die by the blood of Jesus fall down and die you generational curse of stagnation break by the power in the blood of Jesus I said break I said break I said break by the power in the blood of Jesus people of God don't stop pleading the blood of Jesus Christ until all your Goliaths and Pharaohs have fall down and die say die by the blood of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. My God, my God, my God, don't you know that there is power, wonder working power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Rise up, warriors of God, and begin to plead the nuclear, nuclear weapon of the blood of Jesus Christ. Begin to launch those missiles of the blood of Jesus at those stubborn pursuing enemies. Say, blood of Jesus, say, blood of Jesus, launch, attack, destroy, launch, attack, destroy, die by the blood of Jesus my God my God my God my God people of God it's important that we know the power in the blood of Jesus it is very important because the Bible says according to Hosea 4 verse 6 my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge can you imagine having a powerful nuclear weapon at your disposal and when it's time of severe war you don't even know you have the weapon or even how to deploy the weapon Come on, people of God, how can Christians have such a powerful weapon and we are still living such defeated lives? A powerful spiritual nuclear weapon called the blood of Jesus and we don't know about it, much less how to use it. Oh, come on, people of God, because we refuse to stand up in the power and the authority that God has given us. We refuse to take out Activate and detonate the nuclear weapon of the blood of Jesus to paralyze our enemies. Who is with me today? Who is ready to take it back by force? Who is ready to plead the blood of Jesus? I pray that as you have heard this crash course, the blood of Jesus as a nuclear weapon, that from this day going forward, you will start using the most powerful nuclear weapon to record victories in your life, people of God. I encourage you today to start pleading the blood like never before and watch your testimonies come forward for the my God, hallelujah, somebody, what a word for you today, the blood of Jesus as a nuclear weapon, I release you now in the name of Jesus to go forth and start to use this weapon to receive victories in your life, glory to God, I just want to thank you all for joining me once more, it was a pleasure having you on my channel. Remember, there are two more videos to be uploaded in this series. You really don't want to miss out. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Share with a friend. Share with a family. Until next time, this is your woman of God, Angela Hunt, signing out. Be blessed. Shalom.